now it's time for our children's story, adult story too. It's story time, and if the kids would go around and pick up the little green flags, and uh, Sharon is going to have our children's story. But then, like I said, he got it cleaned up, 
took him back to the ocean because he thought that's where he lives and he thought that's where he'll want to be. He took him back out there, he put him in the water, he swam, oh, came right back up to the ocean, from the ocean to him. He didn't want to be there. So, what am I going to do? I can't leave him like this all by himself. So he took him back to the apartment. And he had to go back to Argentina where his teacher you know about taking him to another country, but he stuck him in a bag. And this little guy didn't make any emotions. He just stayed really quiet. He took him all the way back to school. Well, like I said, he lived on a, in a building for the students and the teachers. And it was up on the third or the top floor of the building. And it had a terrace. And it had a wall around it. So that's where the family stayed. And he named him Juan Salvador, which in English means John saved. So, um, he, he uh, let him live out there on the terrace, and he told the students about him, and the students would come up and visit him. And they'd bring him fish, because that's what he liked to eat. And you know, they, a lot of times the students, maybe they would just come one by themselves, they come up there, they go out on the terrace with, with Juan Salvador, and they just sit there and talk to him and tell him their problems, tell him their joys. It was just somebody for them to talk to. Well, another thing, like I said, penguins like to be in the ocean and they like water. So what are we going to do? I know what. We have a swimming pool here at the school, but you know what? The swimming pool doesn't have a filter. So every, summer, every once in a while, they have to empty the pool completely, clean it up, and put more water in. So he decided, the last, just before they're going to empty the pool, I'll take him over, and he can swim in the pool. <gasps> wow! He took him one over there. He saw the water. He jumped in. He was so excited. He swam across the pool and smacked. <laughs> Wall. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm okay. No, I'm okay. And then every time he would take him over, he would just swim around. He was so excited. Well, one day he was swimming there in the pool, and there was a little boy, well, not a little boy, because this was college, I shouldn't say little boy, a young man who was in the school. He was very quiet. He never talked to anybody. He just stayed by himself. But he was a good swimmer, too. And he saw Juan swimming back and forth in the pool. So he jumped in, and he was swimming back and forth with Juan. And you know what? After that, it just changed his personality. He just started talking to people and making friends. It was all the difference in the world that one little penguin changed his life. So sometimes Tom wants owner, take her care, or caretaker, I guess you would call it. He wanted to go on vacation, on a little trip, so he couldn't take one along. So there was people there at the school who liked to take care of him. <coughs> there was one lady. She was um, cleaning the apartments and care, you know, was kind of maintenance there. She liked one. So whenever you want to go on vacation, a little trip for a few days, one would stay with her. Good. Then there was another couple, a married couple. They like wanted to take care of him too. So whenever Tom wanted to go on a trip, if the cleaning lady couldn't do it, they would keep him. So one time Tom went on a long trip, several, maybe a couple weeks. Unfortunately, when he came back, you know what? One had passed away. So we don't know how long, how old he was. So he, maybe he was maybe 25 years old or whatever. But anyway, he passed, and it was a sad thing. But I just, after reading the, this story, I thought, isn't it wonderful how God can work through a little animal, like a penguin, to change people's lives? God is so good, isn't he? Would want to be like the same prayer? No? Okay, let's pull up our heads. 
Dear Father in heaven, we thank you so much for all the things that you do for us. Even through a little penguin you sent to change lives. Father, you work such miracles in unusual ways and we just love you for it. I thank you for these children. I pray that you will be with them and bless them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.